In previous videos, we've shown how you can use Google Maps in a grid's alternate view to display a marker for each row in the grid. So you can see here we have um, uh, a database uh, showing the location of uh, every airport in the United States. So let's go ahead now and just uh, limit this to, say, records in Massachusetts. So you can see now for every record we have the latitude and longitude and there's the corresponding marker on the map. In this video we're going to show you how you can actually move the marker on the map and then cause that to update uh, the data in the record. So for example if we click on the marker for record number one over here which is this airport um, at this location and I move it to a different place um, and I can see if I drop there right now. Uh, when we drop the marker basically we call the JavaScript function and we updated this record uh, with the new latitude and longitude. So you can see that we're actually using the uh, the map now in effect as an alternate form of doing data entry into the current row. So let's go now and take a look at how easy it was to actually set that up. So I'm going to go back to design mode and open up the alternate view definition. And here's my definition of the Google map. And you can see now um, there's a property that says marker can be dragged to a new location and when that property is set to true then you can specify the name of a JavaScript function that you want to call uh, when the user has uh, dropped the marker on its new location. So I'm going to just bring up the smart field here and uh, this is where we prompt for the name of the function but if I uh, click this um, hyperlink here I get to see uh, what the function prototype looks like. So the function basically gets passed in two um, objects, M and E. Um, M is um, appointed to the actual Google Map object and then E is another uh, object that um, has inside it E dot row number which is the row number of the current row. So the full documentation on the Google Map object can be um, obtained um, over there on the internet at, uh, at that uh, um, URL. But you can see the imp like yeah, in this case here yeah, what we show is a sample of how we would actually update um, the data in the current row. So the first thing that we need to do is to actually get the latitude and longitude of the drop position and that's done by calling m.position dot lat which is a method of the Google Map object and uh, dot lng so that gives us the latitude and longitude and then we just simply call the uh, grid object set value uh, method to set the value of the latitude field and the longitude field for the current row and that's all it is that's all that's required to use the map to actually update data um, uh, in the grid I hope that you found that interesting thanks very much